Elon announced that a major OEM is going to license FSD. Who's your guess? Going to license FSD? Yeah, you know, just like uh, everybody's running to get uh, the NAX charging, yeah. the North American charging system. At the last earnings call, Elon said, yeah, uh, we're getting real close to announce it. Uh, a major OEM is going to license FSD. So anyway, uh, you know what? I'd only I'd only have one guess. Who? Ford. Ford. Same here. That's exactly what I said. Yeah. yeah. You know, Ford, Ford was the first to run over to get NAX. Why not be the first yeah. to get FSD? And I think because Ford's got a closer relationship to Tesla than anybody, um, Elon says, you know, Ford and Tesla are the only two car companies that never went bankrupt. I can't see him going to GM, but I will tell you one thing. If if I had a suggestion on full self-driving, I would skip cameras, LiDAR, radar, blah, blah, and go to FLIR. Forward-looking infrared. Mm-hmm. I have done, I've been involved with, I've been involved with eight different ballistics you drop them out of the plane and run away okay no power no nothing all you got is wind and you got little fins that make this thing go and if you remember correctly the bomb went and it went right through the uh, the the little hole who luke the force loop forget that force <laughs> we have american know-how it went right down that hole straight down, burned through, I don't know how many hundreds of feet of concrete and metal and whatever, and then blew up below the the bunker. And then the second one went in a hole and blew up beside the bunker. And then Saddam has said, oh, okay, uh, look at the time. Maybe we should go on. (laughs) Okay. Did that, did we use radar? No. Lasers? Mm -mm. No. FLIR. Everything was FLIR. If I wanted, I cannot, I know why. Oh, that costs a lot of money. Well, you know what? You run over somebody, that costs a lot of money, too. And some people get really unhappy about that. I'm telling you what, if I had one suggestion, it would be go to FLIR. And if you do that, you'll beat everybody. They're, they're not the only ones out there, too. There, there's no, a, no, FLIR is forward-looking infrared. Oh, 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 there's oh, a I, bunch of other different... I, I thought, okay, I'm thinking somebody's got a, a product there. Yeah, they're, they're, there's a company that's called FLIR, and that's, that's fine. And okay. I've driven their cars, and I, I think that's great. Yeah. But I'm talking about the technology forward-looking infrared. Right. That technology far surpasses everything else. Totally agree. No, I've, I've seen uh, systems with uh, thermal cameras on them. Yeah. And... Yeah, you can see everything. And you can see it through the rain, the fog, the right. snow, whatever. That's it's what I mean. Always, right. And that's, anyway, that's that's kind of like what I would do. But if I was going to guess, and I'm sitting here, I was sitting here thinking of anybody else that, that would be able to do that. And I can't think of anybody else that would uh, would move toward that. because the, Yeah, the only other one I thought could, but I don't think they would be Volkswagen. Remember, Ford and Volkswagen had uh, invested in Argo AI, and that was going to be their their yeah, autonomous uh, yeah. R&D effort. And then they got impatient. They, they had to invest more money. They didn't want to do that. They both pulled out. Uh, meanwhile, GM is plugging away. Amazon is plugging away with Zooks. Yeah. Uh, Google's plugging away with Waymo in China. I think isn't it Baidu that's uh, Baidu. off to the yeah, races Baidu. with autonomy and uh, yeah. Baidu is. Uh, they they started talking about that when I was still coming to China. They mm-hmm. thought that they should be in that market because um, Baidu is. I mean that's the uh, what do you call it? Uh, ride and drive company over there that. You know, yeah, well, look, I've else. been a huge proponent of uh, autonomy, and if, I'd like to brag yeah. about this. I wrote my first article about autonomous cars in 1987, and, wow. it's, and, and there was a lot of great R&D going on at that time, but it required all kinds of sensors in the pavement. It required transponders yeah. at every single intersection. It required a massive computer display array to, to control it, so it was massive infrastructure investment and no city no state no county nobody was going to make that investment right. so it it really went nowhere but there was a lot of good stuff what changed it all was the darpa challenge and out of that yeah. we got gps and lidar and uh, and a number of other things but 
all of a sudden, that gave cars the capability of being autonomous without right. having to plug into an infrastructure. Yeah. Plugging into the infrastructure is icing on the cake, but that made it possible for cars to go by themselves. That's what changed it. And I still think that is going to be the big transformation for mobility, not electrics. You know, all electrics do are change the way you get power to the wheels yeah, to exactly. drive the car. Right. Autonomy changes mobility. It opens it up to everyone. doesn't matter how old you are, how blind you are, how sick you are, how young you are, how whatever you are. You can now have mobility that takes you wherever you want to go anytime yeah. you want it. And if the numbers pencil out the way that they're starting to look like, a whole lot cheaper than owning a car. Exactly right. And that's what I think ultimately will happen is that you won't buy a car. You, there will be companies that will buy cars, but you won't buy one. Because most 99% of the time, if you talk about ordinary people, the car is sitting in the garage. It's not doing anything. It's, it's either in a garage or a parking lot. Right. And, and not doing anything. So 90% of the time, it's yeah, just sitting exactly. there depreciating, depreciating in value. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's, that's the real vision with autonomy is that you can open up mobility for everybody anytime they want it. It's got to get to the point where I can whip out my cell phone, say I need a car, and I know, I know for a fact in three to seven minutes, there's going to be one, you know, within walking distance of me to get to and take me where I want. Because, you know, if you have a relatively new car, say three to five years old. If you look at the, the monthly payments, the maintenance, the fuel, the insurance and all that, it costs the average, this is AAA money, numbers, not my yeah. making it up, $10,000 a year to own a car, one. So if you can go to the average household and say, how'd you like to give up your car or give up one of your cars? And guess what? We can save you Three to five thousand dollars a year, maybe even more than that. I, yeah. I think a lot of households will say, "Sign me up. I want to yeah. save that kind yeah. of money." Yeah. By the way, um, I should tell you too that everybody's seeing well, and you press your cell, cell phone or you've got an app or something like that. I think uh, that's like well, it should be passe already. It should be. Um, I need a car. Get it over here right away. And your little chip in your head, you just push that, and it reads, it hears you basically through the bones in your skull, and uh, and there's the car. I I believe that the all these wonderful uh, gizmos that were paying thousands and thousands and thousands, they're all gonna kind of like disappear, and you're gonna get that. And you know, if you want to take pictures or something like that, cell phones are good for that sort of stuff, maybe, or maybe uh, maybe there'll just be something hanging on your head like a. Like, uh, no, it's going to go through your movies. retinal nerve and take a picture with your eye. Well, they, you could do that too. Actually, my eyes now are uh, are wonderful things. I just go up to the airport, look in it, I'm, you're done. Go to the uh, customs office, look in, done. I, I mean, my eyes now are turning out to be way better than my... I have no fingerprints. Uh, fingerprints don't work for me. But I'm telling you, we're, we're in a very exciting time where technologies that uh, when I was a kid, people would just laugh at and walk away. And other people are saying, hey, I got one right here. You know, that, that's kind of like, and quite frankly, uh, I don't know if I should even mention this, but uh, right now we're working on a gravity and anti-gravity machine. Wow. How about that? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Because I've always you. said, look, gravity is going to be the final fuel answer for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Gravity's everywhere. Always. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everywhere. And... We don't really know how it works. We, no. What we do, uh, Newton said, if you drop an apple, you know, that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, but, but, but at the end of the day, it's a wave, and everybody, well, if it's a wave, then how do we, how do we control a wave? I mean, that should be simple. Um, and now we're getting into how do those <laughs> flying saucers work? But uh, I actually, uh, I'm, I'm in on that too. But at the end of the day, I believe that, there are so many things that are that are popping up um, around us that it's it's absolutely it's absolutely staggering uh, the, the the possibilities. 